Hello, I'm Augusta Myers, and today we're here to talk about the new Rio Metro Bike Share Program. Well, I should say it's the new and expanded Rio Metro Bike Share Program. Joining me to talk about this is Valerie Hermanson with the Mid Region Council of Governments. She's a transportation planner who is very involved with the Bike Share Program, as well as Nancy Jones Francis, an avid Bike Share user. We're glad you could both join us today to talk about this. Let's get into it right away and Tell us, Valerie, how did Bike Share begin in Albuquerque? Yeah, so downtown ABQ Main Street Initiative applied for it and received a grant from PNM to do a pilot program in downtown. And when word got out about this program, the business community kind of was like, hey, we, we want in on this. And so what was going to be maybe about five bicycles grew to our 75 bicycle pilot program. And Lola Bird, the executive director over there, figured this might be a good opportunity to include the Mid-Region Council of Governments and Rio Metro in the planning of this pilot program. Right, that's great. And now that pilot program has obviously proved to be very successful. That was 2015 when it started, but you've got some new data that shows that people are using bike share bikes. Yeah, so since we launched on May 15, 2015, National Bike to Work Day, um, we've seen over 10,000 trips on our bikes, wow. over 2,400 riders, oh and the median trip time is 32 minutes. And that's just the pilot program being in downtown Albuquerque. Exactly. Now it's going to expand, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but I wanted to ask Nancy, you're an avid bike share user. Tell us what a day in the life of Nancy Jones Francis looks like when you're using a bike share bike. Well, um, I could use it for any, any, any myriad of things. Um, you go to the store with it? I go to the store. Um, I, will, I live um, in Edo, so I might just catch it over at Fat Pipe where I live and um, like bike over to the movie theater wow. downtown. Or if I want to go to 8th Street, I'll just bike over there. So any number of I trips. I That's stuff. great. Yeah. And is it convenient for you? It's very convenient because I live at Old, old Thea Lofts, the old Hi Albuquerque High, um, and that's where the Fat Pipe um, station is. Perfect. So I just grab that one and go. And it's... And it's you don't think twice about it. You just, you've signed up. You're, yeah. you're a member, so you just grab... And then you drop it off and it's and you can go to shopping, you can go recreational things, mm -hmm. library, all the places you would need to go or within a couple miles of where yeah, you live. Exactly. Um, I do think twice in that if I have to go somewhere a little farther afield, then I will consider taking my own bike. Right. But why drag my own bike downstairs if I've got bike share right there, right where I live, I can just <laughs> grab it, check it out, take it one place, and if I need to go further afield, I'll like catch a bus or, or whatever. Wow. You know, so I don't need it for a full, a full cycle, but. Yeah, which is actually, I think, very, w probably why it started in downtown Albuquerque, namely because people um, may need it for shorter trips, but they don't want to take a car. And so yeah. they can take it to, say, another, from one office building to another, and then leave it or, or bring it back or what have you and not have to worry about, you know, maybe they drove in that day, but their, their meeting schedule is, keeps them kind of in the downtown area. Now, all that said, actually, bike share is changing as we know it, and the pilot yeah. program was a success. So tell us what's next for bike share in Albuquerque, Valerie? Yeah, so the, the program transitioned from downtown Main Street over to Rio Metro Regional Transit District with the idea being that the train can connect a bike share fleet in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Los Lunas, oh, wow. Belen. Um, and so the next step is to uninstall the pilot program um, temporarily to okay. make way for this expanded, bigger, better program. So people will not, they'll see these bike stations don't freak out, the bike stations will actually <laughs> yeah. go away, but then they'll be reinstalled as something new. Exactly. And yeah. when will that reinstallation happen? So the existing program will begin uninstallation and deactivation on January 15th. Um, and then at the end of January, as well as throughout February, you'll probably see fleet crew out there installing the new bike racks and bicycles. Wow. And so what's different about the new program versus the current program? It's supposedly a little bit easier to use? Yeah, that's a great question. So the existing system that we have um, is kind of more intended for point-to-point -point trips. While it does have a secondary lock where you can stop at the grocery store, um, when you're done with the bicycle, you have to return it to a designated station. Mm. That's no longer the case. This new hybrid model is both station-based as well as dockless-based. 
So if you check out a bicycle um, from a station, but you want to end your trip at the movie theater, maybe there's no bike share station there, you can do that. As long as there is an established bike rack. Exactly. So you can lock it to an obvious kind of permanent structure as long as it's another bike rack, but it doesn't have to be the bike share station rack. Exactly. That is so cool. Nancy, does that make things easier for you oh, as yes. a bike share user? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I could bike to the gym. I, I'm over at um, Midtown Sports and Wellness which is about four miles away. Mm -hmm. So I could just take the bike share bike all the way there lock it there and then if I need to go somewhere else I can go somewhere else and then eventually you know, it just it'll it's expanding my world really. Wow that's great. great. And and tell me um, the pilot was a great opportunity for you know public private is this still going to be true for the expansion that that connection between the public and private sector? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we just want to give a major shout out to the private sector. That's what really made this pilot program possible. Um, and it worked so well that we're going to borrow it for this expansion. We do have federal money to grow the program, and that will help cover capital costs, but the private sector dollars will help pay for the operations and maintenance of the program. And that's great because then both public and private have more collaboration and have a stake in creating this awesome community amenity. Great. So right now, the bike share stations that we have, you said we have 15? Correct. And they are all sponsored, or some of them are sponsored by uh -huh. private businesses. Correct. Right? And that's kind of the model that we want to use going forward with this program. And I should say that initial program was called BC, but now it's going to be called part of the PACE program. Exactly. As you see in the logo and, and yes. some of the bike share pictures. Um, and that is a national brand. Right. Exactly. Yeah, so it's uh, the way we're framing it is it's like Uber for bike share. Oh. So there's other cities that have PACE bike shares, um, including Huntsville, Alabama, Knoxville, Tennessee, Tallahassee, Florida, to name a few. And so your membership basically would work in all of those places as oh, well. Oh, that's great. So bike share is not only becoming more popular here in New Mexico, but it seems like it's throughout the country. Oh, definitely. That's great. So how can, say there's a private business and, a, oh, first of all, let me ask you this. The bike share stations are now going to be expanding outside of the downtown area as well. There's going to be how many and how many more bikes and where will they be expanding to? Yeah, so we're going to expand beyond downtown um, all the way to Knob Hill. So we were able to site stations all the way to Central and Washington. And we really tried to coordinate with the Alp Creek Rapid Transit Project to really provide that first and last mile connectivity to really open gotcha. up the world for people. Sure. Um, and there'll be 250 bicycles and 50 stations. Wow. So when you talk about that first and last mile of connectivity and, and bringing in the, um, the art project or the rail runner, uh -huh. people can take the bike share bikes on the train or on the art buses or, or, or on a bus and connect to, to other places or uh -huh. take the rail runner and take, take the art to somewhere where there's a bike share station, get off and then grab the bike and go. Exactly. Okay. That's really great. So if people want to, or businesses, is it just for businesses, the sponsorship opportunities, or is it for private citizens? Um, yeah, really anybody could be a sponsor of uh, the bike share program. And really, like I mentioned, it's a way to shape this community asset for transportation for everybody in Albuquerque, as well as visitors. Um, but it's also a roving billboard. Those yeah. bikes are going to go all over the place. Like I mentioned, we had 10,000 trips. Um, I mean, we'll probably see that amount um, every month. Wow. And Nancy, do you have other people you know who also use bike share? I do. And do they live near you, or is it, it you know, for different um, reasons, well, I'm sure all, they use it. Oh, a lot of us live downtown, but I do know people who live in other parts of the city. Like if they are going to be downtown, they'll mm -hmm. use them. Wow. And how, what do you think the best, I mean, you talked about, you know, the shorter trips and not having to take your own bike downstairs, and, and now, of course, with the new program, being able to lock them up to to any to the dockless system to any um, bike any bike uh, rack, what do you think are some of the best benefits of being able to have a bike share in our community? Oh my gosh, um, there's so many. It's, right? <laughs> it's so convenient. You're not stuck in traffic. You can get there faster than walking. It's healthy, healthy like walking. Um, gosh. The benefits just, are yeah, limitless. It's yeah. limitless, really, yeah. That's really cool. And I think one of the things that was certainly... And it's fun. And it's fun, Definitely. yeah. So you're getting exercise, but it, it doesn't feel like exercise right. because, you know, usually it's destination-oriented and, and you're enjoying it. Yeah. Um, and now Albuquerque seems to be getting a better network of um, 
bike lanes and more mm -hmm. um, better marked lanes for bikes and, and things like that. So that's, that's pretty cool. What if people want to sponsor or a business wants to sponsor? How do they, how do they get information on that? Oh yeah, they can feel free to give me a call um, or email me and I'll be happy to connect them with our sponsorship opportunities. Great, and there's the email right there on the screen. That would be awesome. When can we expect this? So now we're gonna be taking out the current stations, mm -hmm. putting in new ones that look very similar. The bikes will still be white, but now yes. they'll have blue on them. Yes. And will there be a different way to actually rent them, like before you had to mm -hmm. use the card? What are the costs and what's that process like? Yeah, so it's changed a little bit. Now there's no membership fee. Oh, okay. So usually there's an annual fee and then you get a certain amount of free ride time each day. Okay. And now the model is going toward a dollar to a dollar fifty per 30 minutes. Oh, wow. um, like I mentioned, the average ride time was 32 minutes, so they're short, quick trips. Gotcha. And so people don't have to have signed up prior. They can just go to a bike share bike use a, a debit or a visa card? Uh -huh. You download the, the Pace Ride app. Okay. Um, and then it, each bike has GPS, so it'll show you on your screen whether if you're at a station or maybe you're at a bike rack and you see a, a bicycle, that's a bike share bike, you could check it out. Awesome. Gosh, it's, it's almost too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I'm trying to make it more complicated, but it's really that simple. That's yeah. great. And so now we're going to see the, the current stations be uninstalled, 15 of them. That will expand to 75 stations from downtown all the way up and through parts of Knob Hill. Hill. And then from 75 bikes to 250 bikes. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. this encompasses the UNM area, downtown, and Knob Hill. And, you know, among some of your statistics mm -hmm. that you had, you know, we know we've had more than 10,000 trips. Right. In, um, what, two and a half years since Bike Share started, um, more than 2,400 riders uh -huh. to this point. Where, what can you tell us? How far have some of those trips gone? Can you, oh, I know yeah. you had that cool graphic right. um, that shows different things. Tell yeah, us that's about a, that. That's a great question. Um, people are riding all over the place. They're, they're not staying downtown. Yeah. Um, the current system, it, it drops a pin, a GPS pin, a lat mm -hmm. and long. Like um, Uber. <laughs> exactly, to see where. And people have gone all the way out to the volcanoes. Oh my gosh. Um, people have gone to uptown transit right. area. Um, Pretty soon Nancy's gonna be riding to Midtown. <laughs> exactly. Which, you know, when you said yeah. that, and I uptown. thought, yeah, and uptown, I thought, wow, that, you know, because in, in Albuquerque, things are so spread out, but really, they're not really that much farther than a, a bike trip away, right. and and if you have the places, the 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 um, the bike routes to get there, and and the bike trails, right. as people were trying to say, the bike paths to get there. I guess it's it's really a simple and simpler than getting in your car in many respects. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's cool. And and I think even if you live north of downtown, or you know, like in in some area, like if there's a bike there that's been parked. You can grab that and go downtown or, or take it elsewhere. Well, that's true. Yeah. Right? You might see a bike share bike somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, you don't necessarily have to be focused in that area. Sure. Uh, you can see it really expanding quickly. Yeah, expanding people's ability to, to move about the city you know, right. quicker. So that's good. Well, this is great information. I really thank you all for joining us. And I hope um, when we get back together, we can talk about the expanded program and see how that's going. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having us. You yes. bet. Thank you.